Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new League of Legends gameplay. And in this one, we're going to be playing the evil devil himself, Teemo, in the top lane. Because I personally think Teemo is uh, one of the most evil things you can play at the moment because of Dark Harvest. He can not only stack it pretty damn quickly, however, he can also do so much damage with it thanks to his shrooms and his poisons. So think about this, though. So, late game, if you have the proper build, or at least the build I'm doing, which is just kind of focus on the shrooms... Late game, if someone like, let's say, I don't know, the Kaisa or the Nami or probably even Camila or Kali, honestly, walks into one of my shrooms, they'll probably lose about half HP. And because of Dark Harvest, something will probably proc it, like whether it's the actual poison from the shroom and or maybe the dot damage from the Leandri. So it's uh, it's very, 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 very evil to play. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Again, we're doing a full gameplay commentary for this one because I do want to not only test out the full gameplays, but I also think it's just a little bit better for me to show you guys the builds that I'm talking about uh, in a little bit of an easier way. So let's get this party started. Playing Teemo top, it can also work mid lane, though I think top is a tad better just because of the matchups, you know, a lot of melee champions, which is really good. So the build I'm doing is going to be as follows. Again, like I've said, I'm focusing on a very kind of heavy AP uh, shroom focused build, right? So Luden's Echo is the first one for the mana and just the uh, the damage that it does from the proc, which obviously works on shrooms. Uh, we'll go for Morellos with Sorg Boost for the raw penetration, straight into the Leandries, and then straight into a Rabidons after that as well. And that's going to be kind of the icing on the cake. And we're facing what? We're facing Camille actually with heal. Eh, I don't know about that one. That's an interesting one. Uh, Camille with heal. Not really something you see very often. Uh, she, I actually, I'm going to go ahead and assume that she took that literally because she's facing a Teemo. Could be wrong though, but we'll see. Where, the, where is she actually? Proc the, the uh, what's it called? Uh, what's that thing called again? I actually forgot. This, I think Shimon actually may have started our what's it called blue buff. I'm not even kidding. Wait, that's not what I meant to that. No. How we? Attack her as much as I can, of course. Use the bush to cancel the tower or the minion aggro. Get some nice extra damage on her there. Try to bait out her W. Really, she loses there. That's actually interesting to me. Get the Dark Harvest proc. So you're going to be getting a lot of Dark Harvest with this build. Go. <laughs> she used healed as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and what's it called? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know announce the fact that she did use her heal there. I almost forgot she had heal for a second, but luckily she couldn't use her true damage Q because of the blind, which is obviously what uh, as a Teemo you want to excel at doing because you want to whew, prevent people from using their abilities because of your uh, blind, right? Especially melee champions, which is another reason why he's usually a little bit better top lane than he is uh, mid lane because your blind actually does something against the champion's top lane, while mid lane, since there's a lot of spellcasters, unless you get a very lucky matchup, not a whole lot you'll be able to do there. Now, mid lane was apparently a close battle, so I want to go ahead and reset. Got a lot of CS. Actually, wait, not that much. Only 18 CS, but it's not too bad. And uh, yeah, let's get the recall going. So I kind of want to go for a dark seal here, but I don't know. I also just want to go straight for... Hmm. We'll do this. You know what? This might be a good build. Let's do this. Beautiful. Activate the W and get the hell to lane as fast as possible. So like I said, Teemo Dark Harvest, one of the most kind of evil things you can do, right? Because on top of the Dark Harvest itself, of course, Absolute Focus, you know, Gathering Storm will, of course, start kicking in. Cheap Shots will also do quite a bit. And of course, Ravenous Hunter, which... I don't know, I, I kind of wonder if that's the best one to take. Like, it's not bad, but I feel like it... I don't really notice the heal, I'll be honest. I feel like maybe going for the CDR reduction one might be better. Or for the ultimate reduction, it might be better. But that's just me. That's just me. Alright, anyways, let's focus up. I have no flash. I have to be a little bit careful because of that, so the Camille can definitely look for hard engages if she really wants to. Luckily for me, my blind should be quite effective against the Camille, which is obviously a very good thing for me. Wait for her to use the Q. Get some nice damage on her there. We want to make sure we do get the cannon. It's very important. Yoink. Alright. See, there's a lot of minions, so when I attack her, that means a lot of her ranged minions will instantly turn on me. So you have to keep that in mind. So you want to try going for her asses whenever you can, but you don't want to be too kind of crazy about her either because, you know, the minions will do a lot of damage to you. Wait, what? what? Wait, that's I literally just blinded a minion. <laughs> Oops. Wait, that was the worst E I have ever seen in my life. I if I actually just didn't dodge it, she would have missed it entirely. 
she threw it like up in a what the hell is that e Harvest proc again. You just keep rocking Dark Harvest, man. Whenever your Dark Harvest is off of cooldown, you want to just kind of go for that proc, you know, the attempt to proc it. It's super, super powerful. It's super, super easy to do. The cooldown isn't too long, so it's, you know, quite good in that sense as well. And I, almost, I almost just, man, I, I, I know the pain to face a team mode as a melee champion. I really do. I've done it before. It is super not fun. It is the most painful experience you can ever ask for. Look at that. Cancel that back so we can hopefully go for a kill soon. Siobhan is chilling. Magnite is up. I don't know if she knows that, though. Dark Harvest. Uh -huh. I'm going to take that kill. Don't know what she's doing. She's like, okay, see, doing that kind of stuff right there where I essentially force her not to be able to back, right? Because I pretend like I'm going to harass her. I actually don't think I was going to, to be honest. If I had Flash, I would have, but without Flash, I wasn't going to. But anyways, so me pretending to harass her there kept canceling her recall, which in turn ended up making it so that I can easily uh, cancel her... What's it called? Uh, ooh. Oh, man, you should have thought the E first, my friend. I don't know, where was the E first? So now that Shivana actually might go for, her, for this red buff, I'm going to go and uh, check it out. <laughs> they have no idea, boys. They don't know. They don't know. They do not know. What if I wait for the Shivana to come do the red buff? And the second she's doing it, I steal it. And then take this and get the hell out. Wait, that's that might be pretty sick. Hopefully she decides to push in this wave right here. Shivana, where are you? Come on. Come here, girl. Come get the red buff. I'm wasting a lot of time. This is super like risky to do. I'm just praying it works. I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm I'm committed. I have to wait. I have to do it. Oh, God, it's taking so long. What is she doing? Okay, it's taking too long. I can't do it anymore. It's just taking too long. I don't know where the Shivana went. Mm, damn, I was hoping I would get her there. That'd be really nice. Fuck the thing. Unfortunately, my shroom was not the most ideal shroom, to say the least. Not doing his job. Yes, sir. Don't walk on my shroom. Wait, she actually just walked past my shroom. There it is. There we go. Get Dark Harvest on that. I hope. Oh, I didn't get it. Unlucky. Get a Dark Harvest on that, though. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. So easy to get Dark Harvest procs with this. It's actually kind of ridiculous. I do have my Ignite ready to go. I'm not sure if she's aware. I'm hoping she's not really paying attention to my my cooldowns and stuff. Be really nice. I don't think I can kill her. Yeah, I wouldn't have killed her. So good thing I didn't ignite not yet at least. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and reset here. I have a lot of gold, so we're gonna go ahead and back out. She has wait, she actually went for a no magic mental, but she also has literally no CS as well. Let's see if I can do this. When she goes for this, I might be able to kill her. I have to flash her E though. Let's see what happens here. This is really risky. I shouldn't do this. I really shouldn't. Blind. Should be dead. Woo! The bait is successful! God, I, I honestly... I, I just wanted my Dark Harvest stack. That's all I wanted. Oh my god, I missed the cannon. Yeah, all I wanted was actually my Dark Harvest stack. Nothing more, nothing less. Shroom, shroom, shroom. Damn, dude. If she walked into that shroom, she would have salted away, but maybe I could have had another Dark Harvest proc there. So where are we at? We're at six stacks right now. Not the best. I mean, I've had a game where I had like about seven or eight at this point, which is pretty insane, actually. But this is not bad. I, oh, dude, you're, you're, you're a thirsty one. What's up? Are you, you're, you're thirsty, girl. I have no mana to blind her, so she will kill me if she just has to ult me and just all in me. So I have to be really careful. So I'm going to go ahead and peace out. We have a lot of gold, so we're going to go ahead and spend all of that. Get boots as well. No potions, which might... Hopefully we won't regret that, but we'll see what happens. Another shroom? Nope. I don't think you can beat her, dude. I'm pretty sure she will absolutely... Oh, God. Yeah, just let's not do that. Oh, my God. Luckily for him, Camille does not have ultimate, so he should be fine. 
I'm coming, I'm coming. To me, to me, to me. To me. Mushroom, mushroom up there. Shroom? What the fuck, dude? What's up with these shrooms, dude? Dark Harvest. Dark Harvest. Uh, I did a proc. Unlock it. Dude, what's up with these shrooms, man? These are the worst shrooms ever. They're actually walking, like, right in the circles around them. Uh, 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 hello? Okay, uh, the shroom? Do your job? Your job is to hit him. I don't understand. I, I feel like I'm placing him too much in the center. No one no one ever walks in the center of paths. They're always walking on the sides of them. So, I feel like you always want to put it on the side. Hmm. Maybe that's my mistake, then. I'm lucky. Can't say I'm the, you know, a Teemo expert or anything here, so not trying to bait out her W. I'm pretty sure a simple auto attack will actually block my Dark Harvest. Just Q her as well. Check it. There it is. What? That's all I wanted. Worth? Oh the oh the mini auto attack. <laughs> okay, this Camille. Uh, eh, I mean, she went for MR boots first, which you know, okay, makes sense, I guess. But I don't think she's very experienced in facing uh, a Teemo. Don't think she is, or she just just doesn't know the matchup at all, which I guess is based on the first point. I don't know. She just doesn't seem like she's playing it well at all. I mean, again, melee champions are literally designed to get absolutely destroyed by Teemo top, which is why Teemo top is better than Teemo mid, for instance, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. I need a bit more gold. I'm gonna get this wave, actually. What if I just don't back and bait her? I can probably be bait her to stay and try to fight me here. I have Ignite coming up, so I can probably beat her, too. It's very possible, actually. If I had my ignite, if I had my ignite, I had her. No, whatever. I'm the bright side. I did get a dark harvest proc, so worth. But oh, dude, I had her. That's bullshit. I had her. That was all me. Her, it's her shield. Her shield keeps saving her, man. Oh wow, that's unfortunate. Wait, this Kaisa is uh, looking a little powerful, to say the least. Kali's looking a little thirsty as well. I mean, while they're busy doing their 4v4 action over there, I'm just enjoying my time with this Camille, I do have to say. I'm, I'm very much enjoying it, so... If I had Ignite, she was dead. Or if I... Uh, maybe that bush? If I auto-attack better? Just one more auto-attack? I don't know. I wish I, I can kind of rewatch that play right now. I'm curious to see if I missed a single auto-attack anyway. Oh, there's the first one. Nice. Got yeah, damage coming in. Not a whole lot, actually. Never mind. Not, not yet, not yet. Once we get the Ludens Echo and stuff, that's when it'll start to like, kick in. All we have right now is Ludens Echo, but that was also through her uh, Bone Shield. Bone plating, whatever it's called. This one there? Ah, oh, there's a pink quarter there. I just missed a cannon for that. That's actually a bronze mistake. What the hell am I doing? Wait, you don't have your ult, do you? No, you don't. What the hell? Why would you fight that? Wait, I don't... What are you doing, my friend? This is... What are you doing? Why? What? I, I, you don't have ults? You... What? <laughs> Why would you ever thought... I don't know, okay. I mean, I'm not complaining. I like the kills, I like the Dark Harvest stacks, I like all of it, but... It's just, you know, it's making it seem like I'm in a bronze game or some shit here, man. Playing no bronze game. People are gonna think I'm purposely playing against bronzies or something, you know? Alright. Let's put another shroom right here. I'm gonna pot up just to make sure no one can actually come and kill him. Oh, what's up, dude? Oh, he didn't walk to the shroom. If he did, I had him. He's backing out. Dude, I swear, these shrooms are just not doing anything for me. At all right. Oh, nice. He got the kill on her. I'm coming. Okay. Dark Harvest. Nice. Dark Harvest, baby. Let's go. Unfortunately, I didn't get the kill. Would have been nice to get the kill. Because Dark Harvest... Wait, did my... 
Dark Harvest even reset? What is she doing? I, I don't, dude, I really don't know. I actually don't know what she's doing. Your guess right now is as good as mine. Wait, that, my okay, whatever. No, we're not gonna, we're just not gonna talk about it. I, I just, I cannot see us with this champion, but you know who really can't see us? <laughs> Unfortunately, Camille. Not really getting uh, the CS thing that she wants to, I'm sure. That's probably not what she's looking for. Now we have quite a bit of stacks of our Dark Seal, which we can... Enemy, Nami double kill, how does that even make sense? What is that? Boys, lads, are you guys inting to a Nami? What are you guys doing? We have any support? How many stacks do I have? I have 12 stacks. Who else has Dark Harvest? Three stacks! You're slacking. You're actually slacking. Five stacks. Not too bad. Not too bad. But like I said, Timo, very good at getting stacks. You get almost a stack a minute playing him top lane against uh, apparently someone that doesn't know how to play like this. Come here. Come here. Hot attack. Let me get another Q on you. What are you doing? Calculated? I, I don't think that's calculated at all, actually. I'm going to take that kill as well, I guess. I'm not going to lie, I'm actually surprised I almost died there. That's a little shocking. I, I'm i literally almost dead. From from what? I don't know. You tell me. Another shroom there. And now we get this tower. Is this the first tower? Wait, it is the first tower. Ah, there's the shroom block I like to see. Let's put a shroom in there too. Push this in. I, I wanted to check if there is a healing plant anywhere, but I don't think there is. Okay, push this in. The Camille's gonna be here really, really soon, so I need to be a bit careful of her because even though this guy is uh, exceptionally questionable, you know, you still want to be a little bit careful about it. Let's see. Put a shroom right behind me so if she engages, I'll be ready to go. Nice, get this tower. This shroom unfortunately is wasted to the minion. I'm dead. What? Wait, the one time you actually should engage, you didn't engage. Interesting. I'm gonna wait till she walks on one of these shrooms. Maybe like that one. I don't understand. I, don't, I really don't get what you're doing. I'm so confused right now. This Shravana's getting kills left and right though. That's good. That means I need to kill them. That's 550 gold waiting for me. I'm gonna put shroom this just so I can uh, push in the wave a little bit faster. Usually you don't want to shroom minions because you want to you want to save the shrooms for like actual you know like things like this, right? But in this scenario, I think it's fine to do it. I don't think it's too much of an issue. So let's go ahead and go here. Let's go here. Let's get this. Let's go ahead and click on that. Click here. Click here. So now I'm gonna see if I can start joining my team. Nice. All right. I think that fight's done. I'm going to go back to mid, boys. Actually, not back to mid. I'm going to go to mid to start putting pressure there. I'm done with top lane. I don't think there's anything else for me to do top lane. So maybe I'll just push in a wave mid. Maybe I'll just go top, actually, and just keep farming this Camille. She's actually just freeze dark harvest stacks at this point. Yeah, I'm going back to top lane. I don't like mid lane anymore. You know what? The second I show up to mid lane, I just die. The, the goon squad is just there. Uh, uh, okay. Huh. Interesting. The goon squad apparently decided to show up. Now, this game, I'm actually considering getting rallies. Maybe no void staff. If they don't, if they actually don't get much MR, I actually might not get a void staff. And I'll get either a Lich Bane or a, a Rallies Crystal Scepter at the end. Because the rallies. Wait, how are you half HP? Did you walk into some shrooms? You walked into some shrooms, didn't you? You did. Man, if she can walk in that one, that'll be perfect. That'll actually give me a Dark Harvest stack as well. Okay. Press the W, get up there as fast as I can. Wait, she actually gets the tower on this. She has a Sheen, doesn't she? She does. Wow, I cannot believe she actually gets the Dark Harvest. Or, uh, the tower. No, she doesn't. Wait, she actually might walk here to try and check if there's a healing thing. Please, 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 please walk in the stream. I beg you. Oh, that'd be so nice. Oh, she didn't. Come here, girl. Where are you going? Why are you running? Huh? Come here. Oh, 
my Q didn't go off. No, my Q didn't go off. Go. It's all you, bro. It's all you, bro. It's all you. Oh, it's not all you at all, dude. Fuck. My Q didn't go, actually. I tried to auto attack Q her right before she ults away. And it didn't go. I just didn't get it fast enough. Wait, what? Whatever. My shrooms did so much AOE damage to them. I should get an assist on like every single kill. Yeah, I got like an assist on almost every kill there. Jesus! Their team just yeah. I mean, I'm a Teemo. Uh, it's like a, it's the global Teemo uh, taunts. You see a Teemo, you want to kill him, especially if you're someone like a Kali man. I'm not gonna lie, I did overstep a little too hard because I threw in a shroom to try and like be very, very greedy, which was a big mistake. Now we're going for Leandre's next, right? Leandre's is the item we really, really want. And the reason for that is quite simple because it works exceptionally well with your poison from either your E or, or and or your ultimates. A lot of synergy there, a lot of damage, really powerful with, of course, having the double sword penetration, right? With, from the sword boost and of course, some Royal Namacon is gonna give me a lot of raw damage on the Leandre's as well. Since if you're not aware, of course, it does do magical damage, right? Check it out. Bonus magic damage. So that's uh, really powerful. Also, since they're movement impaired, I believe, I believe, yeah, slow. Okay, it should work even better with my ultimate shrooms. Oh, I get that. Never mind that. Huh. I mean, I can just shroom up this whole place. What are they gonna do? Start it. Oh, we have no jungle. Oh, we can't start it. It's a little too risky. Hmm. Put a ward up here. Put a ward in here. And now, put a shroom here. And we chill. AFK in this bush. Oh, that's, that's not what I want to see at all. Huh, on the bright side, I'm still alive. Somehow. <laughs> Got him, boys! Can we get this damn dragon already? Or like, I don't know. What's the, what's the problem here, boys? I just want to get the dragon. Ooh. Armed and ready. Oh, I'm no, I'm not. Oh yeah. I want to reset. You know what? I, I, I've had it was fun in games, guys. It was fun. I enjoyed my time with you guys. I really did. Ooh, that W. I actually feel bad for this Camille. He's just not having a good game today, like at all. This is just probably one of his worst games ever. Okay, let's go top. Push it in. Put a lot of pressure. I do want to get this dragon. Just, I think this Kane should just go and get the dragon right now, while we have numbers advantage. So my goal here, as a Teemo especially, is to just push top, put a lot of pressure here, get a lot of shrooms. So if everyone walks through it. They just take a lot of damage. By the time they get to me, they're happy HP, which is, you know, plan number one. Plan number two is play with the team, play towards the objective like the dragon, shrew up the whole area, and then in the team fight, it'll just do so much proc damage on every single person that it'll be pretty ridiculous, which is actually kind of what I want to do now. I want to push in one more wave and then go meet them at the dragon because apparently they found a way to int it up. Which I'm a little bit unhappy about, I will say. Okay, I'm coming. Activate the W, move a little bit faster. Akali's gonna join them soon. Wait, this Kane? Oh, his ult's about to be up. Okay. Jesus. An enemy is Yeah, I think Akali might walk through here. I, I hope. I sincerely hope she does. Oh, what's up, girl? Alright, well, you did. <laughs> get get pooped on, sir. Get pooped on, good sir. I think she'll walk through here. The Shivana. Be patient, be patient. 
she'll walk through here. She has to. No, she's not. Interesting. Good thing in here. Okay, this, this Kais is gonna die right now. Dang. Go, go, go. What's up, bro? Okay, you go down. No, oh, you go down, bro. I'm not gonna flash, there's no point. I think she's she's dead. Yeah. Woo! The thousand gold. She had a thousand gold shut down on her. Give me that. Look at the damage though, seriously, with the dark harvest. 24 stacks. I'm getting a stack a minute with this build. Right? I mean Timo in general, of course, will just do this. It's not the build that's getting me the stacks necessarily. Well, I mean it helps, I think, but yeah. It's it's I'm telling you right now, man, this is the most evil build and playstyle and everything that you can play right now in preseason and just season nine in general. It's just so it's so evil to play. It's the most infuriating thing to play against, period. Like if you thought Timo before was bad, this is like a lot worse to face. It's just I would not want to face this, I'll tell you that right now. I would actually just smash my head into this keyboard every single time I go into a shroom and take happy speed because you know, the game is bounced. Another thing you can do for this build if you really want is Nash's Tooth is a pretty good option. Well, I'm level 16 already. Nice. I'm gonna shoot up this whole jungle and take control of it. Oh, what's up? Oh, what's up? There's a Mikali too. What's up, girl? What's up? Alright, uh, yeah, that was a bit of a... Yeah, I didn't really expect a lot of people to be there. I thought there'd be more people, you know, chilling here, maybe chilling up here, who's just, you know, LeBlanc just casually on their inhibitor tower. But apparently their, uh, half their team is down bottom. Interesting, kind of interesting. Alright, now we go towards the rapid on. Okay, now our damage is actually insane. This is where things get a lot more spicy. Ooh, wait a minute, this LeBlanc is... Almost clean, almost clean. Kane versus Shivana. Oh, Kai is here too. Kai has no ult. Kai has no flash. Kai is about to die to the any support. Any support is hard inting. This any support is actually hard inting. What the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> Get the. What is that? Kane will be maybe. No. Nope. Camille is actually creeping under my shit. You know, I wish I had some shrooms there right now. I really do. If I had some shrooms there, that would've been really nice. Whatever. Captain Timo, gonna give him a tower, gonna get all the all the objectives because that's what a good player does. Where would she go next? Very interesting play, my friend. Very interesting play. I don't think that worked out quite well for you, though. I have to say, probably not your best idea. <laughs> hey, why would he do that? Does he not know I'm actually strong and fed? I, I feel like he doesn't. Here, no. Okay. Yes, sir. Now we chill. Now we just chill, boys. We just chill. We're chilling. We're hard chilling right now. It's a little risky to do. Is that for my shroom? I wonder if they know. There's no way they know. I don't believe it. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright. We're really, really close to this Rabadons. Like, super, super close. I can almost taste the Rabadons. I just want to kill the Nami. Oh. Okay, give me some assists, boys. Give me some assists. All I want is the goal for the Rabadons. Get the Nami. No way, dude. Oh, she died. Nice. 
good. They gave me an assist. I think that's just enough gold. So by the time I spawn... Wait, this Timbers is destroying her face. Hey, hey, look at that. This pain is finally popping off. But I, I think by the time I spawn, I should have just barely enough to get the Rapidons. And now... Oh boy, with 28 Dark Harvest stacks, now the damage. Oof, it's going to be something to definitely look out for. I'm actually quite excited. This is... I never thought I would say this, but playing this Teemo build is actually fun. I, I really never thought I would say it ever. But Teemo is... This build is fun. It's so... It, mainly because it's so OP and just so stupid. And I could just imagine how annoying it is to face. And being the one that's in control of it. I have to say, man. It feels nice. It really does. Now we're going to wait in base for just a tad. Just enough for this bad boy right here. Like I said, almost enough when we spawn. So let's chill a little bit. And start putting... Uh, what's it called? Yeah, Baron is, I think, is, is the next objective here. We just play towards that. All shroom. Oh. I have 29% CDR. So I did go for one of the runes. I did go for a CDR one per level, which is going to be uh, obviously really useful here because I want to get as many shrooms as I can in this area as possible. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a shroom right here. Don't like it. I got hit by that. Put a shroom in here. We'll put a shroom in here. I'll spell the head. Start it. Wow, well, we actually didn't kill her. That's actually a little unfortunate, I have to say. I want to get this red buff. No, don't want the mushroom. Dude, see how scared they are? So scared. It's just the damage is actually unbelievable. What do you even do, dude? He just gave up. Like, I, what do you do at that point? Nothing. Oh, you're dead. The Dark Harvest Burst, man. The Dark Harvest Burst. GG. Look at that. I'm telling you, man. This Teemo game, or rather Teemo build, is busted as hell. It's like, you get so many stacks of Dark Harvest. That's the most I've ever had, actually, in a game. I had over 31 stacks. That's, if that's not broken, I don't know what is. Not only do mushrooms essentially burst people down, like, by half HP, honestly. But just an auto attack Q with the Dark Harvest proc is not only powerful because I am full AP, but the Dark Harvest comes in because I stack it so often with Teemo. It's just, it's, I don't know. It's it's really strong. I, I, try it out for yourself. I mean, actually, no, don't. You know, kind of, maybe. I don't know. Hey, we got a gold bonus account. Nice. Look, I got to look at the damage done, though. I'm really curious to see this damage done. Oh, my God. Like, tell me, like, that's big. Like, look at that. It's disgusting by far. This Kaisa was like 12 and 3, and I'm still like essentially double her damage almost. This Teemo build is broken, it's insane. It's every single form of clickbait you can think of, and it's the most evil thing you can imagine when playing in Season 9 and preseason. Try it out for yourselves, guys. It's busted. It's OP. You'll have fun. You'll make the enemies rage, and you will dominate the game. But thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, hit the like button. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace, peace, peace. Share with your friends. Subscribe. All that bullshit.